The Peninsula Players experience really is very unique from other theater experiences. When you go to see a play in a city, you're typically driving through traffic, you park in a parking garage, you cross the street, you head into a building. To where at the Peninsula Players, we really encourage people to arrive an hour in advance because once you get down on the property, it's a completely otherworldly experience. I'm always tickled when someone comes here for the first time. They come, drive down, and then they walk into this theater and it's a total surprise because they don't expect to see something this beautiful and state of the art in the woods on the shores of Green Bay. I've worked in a lot of theaters around the country, around the world, and I, I don't know of another one like this. For a patron to come and enjoy the beer garden before the show or watch the sunset, enjoy the bonfire, which is usually at intermission, weather permitting. And it's a very, very pleasant way of spending an evening. Where do you find a place like this that's 16 acres with a thousand feet of shoreline? And I think that whole experience is what keeps this place going. There's a lot of people who come to the players for the first time who have been in Door County for 20 years, or locals who have lived here their whole lives who have not come down and it is so gratifying to hear the audible gasps or the, oh my God, I had no idea. So you drive down the hill and you see a big yellow sign that says prepare to stop. And then there's all these people here dressed up in like parking vests, helping you park your car. And all of those people, those guys are our interns and our crew. You know, the interns who are telling you how to park then have to scramble backstage to get ready to um, be our dressers and to fly the scenery in and out and run sound and run lights. All of these people work together to make this amazing thing, which could not just happen with actors alone, it could not happen with just designers alone, it can't happen with anybody alone. There's something about it that makes for a richer experience. 99% of our staff live on property. They have their breakfast here, they work all day, they have their supper here, they work for the evening show, and after the show's over, they're all still together. Everyone from me to the youngest intern, and any children that are uh, coming along with any company members, we're all together all the time, and sharing our experiences and stories and everything, and it's a real wonderful atmosphere. The thing that is really special here is that because it's such an awesome place to work, you can uh, assemble the most extraordinary casts of actors and designers who you would never be able to get back in, you know, in Chicago or New York or LA. My two criteria for bringing people up here is one, that they're very talented, because I want to give our audiences the best they can get, and they have to be good campers. <laughs> fun because a lot of people come to the theater here that uh, don't go to theater where they're from. Just because you don't go to theater in the city doesn't mean you shouldn't come to theater here. Don't be afraid of the experience because it's going to ultimately enhance your Door County experience. For a lot of people it's a tradition for them to combine the outdoors and a beautiful natural setting with um, artistic and cultural venues. That's extraordinary.